Now we're going to demonstrate four kata from the Chudan set. This is the intermediate set of Shindo Musoryu. Midare Dome, Ken Gome, Shin Shin, and Yoko Giri Dome. So let's go to another side of my history and your history. Let's go back to Koryu and to our teacher Stephen John Bellamy. Uh, look, I, I want to begin first. I mean, a lot of people, you know, the uh, it's not because it's uh, he's our teacher or something. No, uh, a lot of people man, said some, showed some doubts about his uh, his license, his make you his kind mm -hmm. and something like that. But uh, I saw many people doing Shindo. This is my opinion, you know. Doing Shindo Musaryu, doing the the way Stephen Bellamy Sensei was doing Shindo Musaryu was very efficient, as as I said. I mean, and uh, actually, I I got the information from uh, a source that whom I trust. We trust that he got a uh, strong connection with Kamino Da Sensei. And Kiyohimino Kaminodo Sensei confirmed that he, Stephen John Bellamy Sensei got his Meikyo Kaiden in Shindo Musoryu from Kuroda Ichitaro Sensei.
So we are not talking. We will not talk about his personality like it just uh, because people sometimes say things, but they don't know history in detail. Anyway, so I met first. I was living in Nagoya. Uh, a few minutes to talk about how I met him. So uh, I was for, when I went to. I got a Japanese scholarship to study in Japan for me. It was just Aikido, Aikikai. Right. And you're some Yoshinkan. I went there. Oh, I was after six months studying Japanese language. What uh, year was it? What year? Uh, 2000, uh, beginning of 2003. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, I, re I read an announcement about uh, free classes of uh, Japanese Yaido, Muso Ojigiden Eishin Ryu. Yeah. Nano Sensei. So I kept training there for one year. And once uh, Sensei told me, Nano Sensei, do you want, are you interested in studying Jodo? I said, no, for, for me, it was Aiki Joe was the best, you know. Yeah. yeah. Until one day, I said yes. So uh, I was, uh, he began, Nano Sensei was uh, began to teach me, me and Andrea, she was an American lady. Uh, teaching English there and, uh, and I think she was uh, a student of Bilami Sensei mm -hmm. and then once I met Bilami Sensei for the first time uh, in the test I got my seventh cue in Jodo, Jodo mm -hmm. the uh, Sete and I was uh, impressed by his personality personality and uh, I think in 2004 he decided to go to the United States so I kept uh, I, it was just Sete not Koryu so I kept training with the um, Nano Sensei, watching videos of uh, Matsui Sensei. Uh -huh. uh, we arrived up to finish Chudan up to Kage, begin of Kage, and then I was. Uh, my problem, my best teacher while I was in Japan were foreigners who lived in Japan. Right. They communicate information easily to me. I can get it, but with Japanese. Right. But their pedagogy doesn't work with me. I, I, I don't. I think with all people, you know, you have to spend a lot of time there. And anyway, it's their way. I, I, I even at university, uh, in, in analysis techniques, they. I don't know. I, I can't understand their way of doing things. Anyway, mm -hmm. so uh, I kept waiting and kept sending emails to Bilami Sensei mm -hmm. without him replying. Mm -hmm. Until 2011, he accepted. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm living in uh, Nagoya. I'm going to put you on a six months uh, theoretical uh, test. So I kept sending me uh, homeworks every week. Uh, and then in 2011, he began to train, train me two weeks. I met him, invited me to his house before you came to uh, from US. And then I met you. And they kept training there and uh, until 2000 end of 2013 so i learned all the katas up to uh, okuden and then wow. I, I met you there uh, almost okuden i met you there in uh, twice in tugashuku uh -huh. and, but uh, for me i stopped at okuiri i had my own reasons and yeah. you uh, and you got up to gomokoroku right gomokoroku from so Bilami yeah uh, how was uh, for me my relationship with Bilami sensei was tough <laughs> i mean why I tough Look, posit yeah. positively for me, positively, he helped me build up again my personality. At that time, I, I, I was suffering because living in Japan or studying there is not easy at all. It's stressful, so right. stressful. The culture is nice, but when you deal with them, when you work there, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. And I had problem concentrating. And he, by his, his very rough treatment, yeah. he helped me to gain back my concentration. And I was never late. If I was one second late, go home, Ahmed. Well, right. uh, yeah. And uh, he helped me not to become scared of people. Again, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is a positive thing. And I learned to do Musa Ryu. But I had my own reasons to stop uh, right. that I can't tell now. How about you? Hmm. Yeah. So after the trip in 2007 mm -hmm. uh, to Japan mm -hmm. I, and meeting Otake Sensei, I was now uh, re-motivated to see, hey, mm -hmm. you know, it's been 30 years. Yeah. Maybe Shindo Mosoryu has come to California. Mm -hmm. Everything else is here. How did you meet so, him? How did you meet him? 
Well, I, I Googled around. Ah, oh, I see. So, uh, Shindo Musoryu Jodo in um, Southern California. Mm -hmm. And what popped up was the Santa Monica Jodo Club. Mm -hmm. Now, I went to school at Santa Monica High School. Mm -hmm. I went to college for two years at Santa Monica College. Man, you are history. You know? Hollywood. And then I transferred to UCLA <laughs> and graduated there. But... You know, so it's like that's that's my neighborhood. Yeah. You know, um, and I wasn't living in Santa Monica at that time. I was over here in Glendale, which is a bit of a drive. You know, you're looking at 40, 45 minutes to drive there when there's no traffic. But I contacted him. I gave him my history with Shindo Musuriu and Shimizu and Don Drager, and I got a reply back saying, you know, um, if you would like to meet with Chisato Mishima, she is she is my wife but she's also an instructor and the first part of this is you must interview with her and then if you pass the interview then you'll be invited to come watch um, three trainings and um, you're expected to to watch and, and see if this is the type of thing you want to do and then if we like what we see um, and you like what you're doing and we invite you then you can begin training with us and it was training outdoor, outdoors in a park, uh, which was like the first real time that I was spending any outdoor training. They call it Yagai training. Yagai training, yeah. Yeah. So I went and had the interview with um, Chisato and, and um, in, in, you know, she asked me several questions and she was trying to communicate, you know, why are you interested in doing this? Um, this is not a hobby. It's not a sport. It's not like, hey, I'm going to call you up. Um, I've got a couple hours free for some tennis. Want to get together? Um, it, it's not like that. This is a whole commitment, and it's a process to, to learn this in, entire um, system of training. So I said, yes, I'm, I'm interested, and I'm able to devote some private training with Bellamy Sensei. I could come one Sunday um, a week or one day a week on Sundays and do do our training. So she said, okay. So I got invited to come to the um, first class and um, saw what there was to see. And Bellamy Sensei came and introduced himself, very friendly and very, uh, you know, he is Tough guy. He has a force to deal with, you know, and he's very charismatic. Yeah. Um, and, and he's got the English accent. Yeah. Um, and, and if he's sell, telling you something, it's like, yes, sir. You know, oh, we're going to take that hill. No problem. <laughs> let's go. Yes, exactly. That's from the, his, the force of his energy. And, and that's very attractive for, for people that are drawn to the martial arts. Yeah. You know, most of us are looking for that kind of thing in, in some way or another. Um, so he said, show me Tachi Otosh. That's the first kata in Amonte. Uh, so I showed him Tachi Otosh, and, and he liked the way that I did the, the, the Sukui movement, so, yeah. the scoop movement, because he said the Seite kind of sweeps it around. Mm. And, and he was, he's not a, not a big fan of Seite, mm. even though he says that's how we start training. Mm. We teach people Seite, uh, the 12 kata of Seite, which is, you have to think of it as the, the C's sampler yeah. of Shimomu you. you know, you get some nuts and chews, you know, you get some, some dark chocolate and you get some, some marshmallow and some stuff you don't like, yeah. you know? Um, so you get, you get several uh, of the Yumote kata, a few of the Chudan, and the pearl of Shindo Musuryu, Rana. Mm -hmm which is if you're studying traditional Shindo Musoryu at a dojo in Japan, probably takes you two, maybe three years to yeah. get to Ranai. Yeah. Even if you're going twice a week, plus a little extra. Mm -hmm. But he says that's how we do it. Um, so that's how I began um, with him. And he was training two other guys that were um, private students. And, and then we started to create this, this uh, group class and that was, I think it was 2008. Um, we got a, a demonstration together at a couple of dojo and some of my Danzan guys um, saw it, um, participated in this one seminar. And um, one of the guys gave up Danzan Ru completely. 
Oh, please. Like, I'm now Shimon Musuri. Um, and that, that was interesting. There was another guy that, that also uh, was part of a Danzan dojo and started training on a regular basis and lived close to Bellamy Sensei and Chisato and was able to help them because they didn't have a car yeah. and they weren't driving. So there was a lot of uh, getting to know the Sensei in other ways besides just in the dojo. Yeah. And, you know, he, he, I have not met any teacher, doesn't matter if it's my jujitsu teacher that I spent with from age nine to 22, uh, uh, Don Drager, uh, Dan Inosanto, or any other teacher that I've met that hasn't pushed me harder, expected more, and and created more things in me than Stephen Bellamy said. Same, same for me, yeah. Not even close. Yeah. It's like it's in a completely different category. Yeah. And, and having said that, you know, the, the closer you get with somebody, mm. the more you experience what their personality is. Oh, yeah. You know, sorry. And, and sometimes we have personality conflicts. It happens, yeah. It happens, you know, and, and especially when somebody is giving of themselves, giving of themselves. And, and we are, too, as students, you know, because we have to give of our time, we have to give of our energy. Yeah. But we are taking, we are taking, we are taking the information, you know, and that, that is a, it's an agreement when you sign your show den show. Yeah. He says, um, we are agreeing. My agreement, I'm going to teach you everything that I know. Um, everything. You, your agreement is you are going to learn everything that I teach you. Ready? Go. And he's the one that got me into um, what little Eido I know. Yeah. He said, you've got to start um, training Eido. You at least have to learn the Seite Eido, the 12 kata yeah. of Eido. You have to learn that. You know? um, he got me into Shodo. He said, you don't have to become a Shodo master, but you have to be able to, to draw the names of the kata. You know? Maybe not by memory, but by looking at them, you have to be able to do tachi o tosh. Maybe not even the kanji, maybe just the hiragana. Yeah. You know, but you have to be able to draw. You have to get involved in that. Um, and I, I found a teacher that comes to my office every week and has been doing that for the last, uh, since 2009. That's great. But by the way, uh, your gomu kuroku, the, uh, the wokuroku, the, uh, what's in English? Uh, it was written by Bellamy Sensei, I think. Well, um, in, in theory, yeah. um, 
I'm not sure about that. I don't know that. Because sure. uh, I, I have my uh, my new Mon show and my uh, he and my Okuri show. Definitely, that kanji was not written by Japanese person. Definitely, because Japanese were afraid because they learned from high school, from elementary school. You know, that writing it's like uh, of uh, a person who learned kanji at the advanced age, maybe. Uh, 20s, 30s, and it's not different, it's not Japanese. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Bellamy who wrote that, I think, yeah. So, you know, a lot of these details, you have to take on faith, Yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. um, if somebody says that, um, then, okay, so, yeah. uh, you know, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, uh, I went, in 2009, he said, I think as a group, we should go to Japan and go on a Jungyo. Mm. Uh, traveling from yeah. dojo to dojo throughout Japan, training in different jodo. And you met uh, Kamino Da Sensei, right? Right, mm. yeah. Um, and so we set about to do that. It was a huge deal to get um, myself, uh, Brendan, uh, Bill, um, Rich. Gosh, were, Rich. Uh, Rich, Ket Merrick, yeah. And uh, there, there might have been somebody else. I'm blanking on that right now, but it was a huge deal for all of, all of us to go. And we went and I had amazing experiences. Um, and guess what? When you travel with somebody, you've gone to the next level. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and what you run into when you're traveling, you, you run into issues of control. Right? How are we controlling or having the perceptions of controlling um, how we're we getting from one place to the next, yeah. where our next meal is coming from, keeping the group together, uh, communicating between everybody. Yeah. Uh, it's stressful. Yeah, yeah. It's sure. stressful. Mm -hmm. And if you're in charge of that whole program, um, sometimes it brings out the cracks in your personality. Oh, yeah. Everybody has cracks in their personality. I do. And if you, experience, yeah, if you experienced me in my other life where I'm doing property management, yeah. you know, all the time, and and after a while, you know, hey, Mike sounds a little irritable. <laughs> you know, does he yell at you all the time? Uh, you know, you anybody in the martial arts world would never think that of me. Yeah. You know, but in the property management world, on you get on my wrong side, uh, you know, you're gonna you're gonna know it. Uh, and sorry. That happens with everybody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you're living in their living space, which I have more than once, you get to the next level, yeah. you know, and, and after a while, um, you know, you're learning the good, the bad and the ugly yeah. that all of us have. That's human, you know. Mm. Yeah. 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 And like I said, at the end of the day, um, nobody's pushed me harder. I have not learned more from anybody um, than from him. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't change that experience uh, because it's made me uh, part of what I am today. Huh. And, and I'm still training because I'm back at the Magda Institute just like a beginner. I going, know. Um, <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I know, I know, man, man, that was history. You know, if I didn't know Bellamy Sensei, maybe I, I would never have the chance to talk to you, you know, or to know you and to know Rich and, uh, uh, well, well, Rich Rich had a different path. He, he continue, made, made it continuous up to make you Kaiden. So he's, I don't know if he's uh, the second or the only make you Kaiden in Shindomo story of Bellamy Sensei. Ah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm talking to people who began from zero with Bellamy Sensei. Yeah, mm -hmm. not right. talking about the others, you know. Uh, up to, um, as far as I'm concerned, as I know, so it's uh, rich. Uh, I was expecting you because uh, you are our senpai. We, we, you begin uh -huh. at the Rembukan man. That's Belami says they told me this. Belami, yeah. he, uh, well. he told me Mike is different. Mike began at the, the Rembukan. I mean, he at least he will get Menkyo. As he said, at yeah. least at this time. I mean, you, you were you were his first Menkyo. I mean. He was planning for you to get his your first Mikko Kaiden, but you know life decides differently. Right. And yeah. you know, on the one hand, some sometimes these these um, very important things, celebrations, um, set points in, in our life, um, um, 
have real meaning and, and yes. it makes real difference. Yeah. Um, but after you've experienced it and you've gone on, um, well, then you're on to the next thing yeah. and you're on to the next thing. And, and sometimes other things come in. <laughs> Excuse me. Other, yeah. other things come into focus that um, become more important. You know, yeah. and, and I, I gave up trying to achieve a rank or certificates yeah, yeah, yeah. so long ago. I, 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 it's not that I don't care. Yeah. It's not that it doesn't matter, but I don't care if it doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> for me, it's the same because uh, my, uh, look, look, I did Shindo Musoryo in Japan. I did Aikika Aikido, Yoshinkan Aikido, some Catholic interview. Yeah. I did some karate. I mean, I broke many ribs on my body. The contact karate, the kudo, and but yeah. mainly in Korea, I did Shindo Musoryu and and Yagyu Shinkaki. You with 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 the, with the spear of Wari Kandri, the dojo awesome. in which Armstrong Sensei. The problem when it came to Algeria, I have no time to teach all of this, and right. they can, I don't know how to teach because I had to choose one. Right. But if I choose one, I can't teach them all. I mean, I'm mean, like, I, it's like I wasted my time. So uh, sometimes you just have to choose one path. And that's exactly what Don Drager sensei said. Yeah. yeah. Um, he said, at some point, yeah. you will have to choose yeah. one art or two um, yeah, yeah. To, to focus on. Yeah, you can't do them all. You can't. Uh, you know, and even, no. uh, for example, the, the problem I found here in Algeria, in Algeria, people just think that because Aikido is the best, they think Aikido, because they, they find it easy for them, the yes guys, you know, yeah. everything. They want to show up their uh, falls, you know. Uh, they don't care about Koryu, they don't know about traditional. I stop teaching here. I can't waste my time teaching people. Sorry, I took too much time from your time. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, I, I know how this goes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyway, Mike, uh, thank you very much for the information. Do you You're have any, uh, uh, something you want to talk about or add or something? Well, no, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm just interested in, in the fact that you are sharing about what you have done in Japan yeah. and you're interested in, it's great that you're interview, interested in interviewing other people uh, and you have no idea how many people you will affect. Who knows, maybe you're going to motivate another yeah. 14 kid to go to Japan. I would love to. Just, I, I, there's me, uh, once I reach, uh, I, wrote, I wrote this, I wrote, and I think I made a video my old Facebook account and Rich yeah. was impressed I told him look and I'm sure I'm not this, uh, I'm not the only one my best teachers in Japan were foreigners who made the sacrifice and learned from the Japanese people the old the old Japanese I mean yeah. the, those who really wanted to teach and they, they made a summary like Belami Sensei and my Yoshinkan Aikido uh, Sensei Jack Pei Sensei They give you what you need. They yeah. would. They won't waste your time in, like Bram says. He, he, sometimes I was too Japanese doing says. Uh, he told me, "Look, Ahmed, act normally. I'm your coach. Don't act like they do in fake dojos. When uh -huh. you try to be more Japanese than Japanese, be yourself. Be respectful in some way, but yeah. not too much. The problem in Japan, many dojos they just push you." To try not to be Japanese, and they never satisfy. They are never satisfied about what you do. I don't, don't they don't teach you. So yeah. uh, I was lucky to know these be two people. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. you know, Bellamy Sensei um, explained to us um, once that look, you guys, um, be happy that that you are training under me. Yeah. Because I can explain to you using English yeah. what's going on here. You know, he said even if you were in Japan. It would if you can't speak the language it would still be monkey see monkey do right. you know yeah. and you're just not the, the, the instructors are busy telling people what to do oh, yeah. but he says you're not going to you're not going to get that explanation oh, yeah. the best that you can do is watch it and try to try to follow along and yeah. and at the same time he said and 
you must go to Japan. Yeah. You must have that Japanese experience, at least a taste of it. Yeah. You know, to, to, then it'll be now. Okay, it's making sense now. You know, otherwise it's it's a little bit too far removed. And he told me once a very important point, and I agree with him on that. Uh, the image I had that uh, that Don Draeger was lucky man and that he had great time in Japan, were respected. But in reality, Bilam Sensei, he told me he, he got he had had time was in Japan, in the Kodokan Dojo. The, at the Kodokan Dojo, they made his life like hell, and I think he was kicked out. I think something like that. Uh, and there yeah. was, uh, even not all, uh, all, I think only two Ryuha, like uh, Shindo Musa Ryu and Kato Shunta Ryu, well, I mean, the, the, the Shihan there were nice to him. The others yeah. were not. They were not. Yeah. Howie. It wasn't easy, yeah. even for him. You know? it, it, it's not easy. Um, I, uh, all I know is that what he said is that there were political problems that developed at the Kodokan. Mm. Um, and he said after a while, you know, it was just like, it's, it, it doesn't make any sense to be here. Yeah. Uh, you know, he was he was the the head of the foreign um, training division. Mm. He he instituted um, a weight training weight for train, the, yeah. entire, mm. the entire um, um, championship judo program. Uh, you know, he promoted judo tirelessly. But after a while, you know, it's just it's just like personality conflicts that happen between yeah, teachers. Yeah, yeah. There's lots of, of political problems that yeah. it's like. I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. you know uh, the last thing I want to say that you know, living in Japan and even training in Japan, it's a beautiful country. But you, so for some people, they might waste their life living there. I tell mm -hmm. this, you know, not all for all, but mainly, you know, it's not it's not easy. Anyway, my friend, thank you very much for your time, thank and you I'm I'm sure it won't be the first and the, uh, the last. The last uh, we will have many things to talk about. Okay, you are you are history. Say hi to your wife, my friend, and keep in touch. Okay. Uh, we'll see you later. Thank bye you. bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Enjoy your day. Okay, you too. Yeah. Bye bye. bye.